Now I can just go to AI, especially into Cloud Code, for instance, and just tell it to code it from scratch, from zero. You know, I just need to open it in a new uh, Xcode project and then say what I want, and it's just going to churn out an app for me. And in 10 hours, that's my real experience. In 10 hours, you can have an app up and running. So that I think is really amazing that you suddenly have this confidence that you can do things that you couldn't have done before. And even if you thought that you didn't have enough expertise in something or you didn't know certain framework or you thought like, oh, I will never be able to do it, now you can suddenly do it. And that I think is really great. But again, it comes uh, with a counterbalance, right? Like because uh, now suddenly a lot of people will feel very confident that they can do stuff, but they will not have enough expertise. So most likely a lot of these things will break. So again, we will have like a productivity boost at the beginning, but then there will probably be some decline or correction that we will need to readjust and kind of like uh, approach it in a more mindful way, maybe learn more things. All of these individual developers, indie hackers, and people who just work on their own, they will have to maybe uh, go back and learn some basics and come back and kind of like refactor their apps and that will slow down the growth curve. So that will be both the positive aspects that a lot of people can do stuff, but also the negative aspect that a lot of stuff that will come out will be maybe not so high quality. But in general, I think it's a good thing because a lot of people fail not because they tried and it didn't work, but because they couldn't start something. So I think that's a very good aspect that a lot of people will be able to start new things. And especially